Hello there, my name is Amafei, and today we're playing The Windows Are Gone. Also, I am going to be gone for three weeks, but when- what? Why did it start? I didn't press it. When you watch this video, the three weeks already started, because I'm like, I'm gonna try to plan videos. In my dreams, I see this house. This is really loud. I feel it calling for me. Oh no. Oh no. Ever since the accident. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. Mariana? Mariana. Mariana. That's a name. That's a, that's a name. So I answered it. I knew where it was. I knew it was a real house. Oh my god. The windows are gone. Ooh, okay. Hey, honey, how are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go, couldn't do it. I understand, she would have understand too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? <laughs> Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now. Actually, I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road. Love you. Oh. Okay, so like, my mom died. And now I have this house? Tap to pick up your phone. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. Mom. Oh no, it... I was texting mom. Wait, I was texting mom? Reply. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and we'll text you later. Okay. Whoa. This game looks a lot better than what I thought. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Okay. M to pick the map of the house? <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god. This box has upstairs master bedroom written on it. How about this one? This box has a, a guest bedroom, living room. Oh. <gasps> okay. What did it say? Upstairs something? Does it say cuidado frágil? I think it does. Open. Where did I put the box? What did I do with the box? Oh no. <gasps> a VHS tape labeled Tape 1, my family. I could probably take this to a VHS player and play it. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Why is it not transparent? Okay. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Is this to the outside? Yes. Okay. Okay, then who who died? Who died? What is this door? What? Why? 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 Wait, what? This room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. Okay, an office. Wait, so that door is locked? Then where does this... <gasps> oh, I'm gonna go there. Because it's just started. Oh no, it's locked. I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. The basement is locked. Okay, I'm gonna close the door. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, imagine living here alone. No, I couldn't. No, oh, it's not this way. Upstairs, master bedroom, right? I think so. Place. Oh, it has a little check. Cute. I'm gonna put one more box and then I'm gonna watch the movie. The family movie. Oh my god. Hello? We have music! As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man, I can't see anything, handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same house that I'm in. He all smiles and he, as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. Please tell me there wasn't like a murder, like one of the family members killed everyone, please. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arm around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous, this, this, oh my god, smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. <sighs> it's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where are they now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Ooh. Okay. Oh, my phone, my phone. F? No. E? No. Tab. Everything good? Yes, mom. Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. Okay. Next box. Did you watch it? What's in it? I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that, but yes, I did. I saw some weird stuff. Upstairs master bathroom. Downstairs office. I can hear movement. Did I hear movement? I think I heard movement. <laughs> this was from where? I don't remember. Inspect. Upstairs guest bedroom. Okay. Upstairs guest bedroom. Wait, another one for the upstairs? Oh, guest bathroom. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Okay. There's definitely movement. Who's there? Hey, yo! What a nice looking tree. Amazing. You had plenty money 1922. You let other women make a fool of you. Why don't you do right? Like some other men do. Get out of here and what? Get me some money too. Okay. No. F 
fuck no. Fuck no. Okay, tell me that I have a, a bell to ring outside my gate, outside the front gate. Tell me there's n no. Oh, fuck. <gasps> I knew someone would be here. Why am I scared? It's just a neighbor saying hi, talk. Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. <laughs> Yes, I am. I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right hand side. Right hand side. My husband and I... She pauses for a few seconds. I live there. What? Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me about it? You look familiar. Do I know you? Mm, can I help you with anything, ma'am? You look familiar. Do I know you? Can I... Okay. Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today, so I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. You got here pretty quickly, huh? That's very kind of you, you didn't have to. She did get here pretty quickly, but I don't want to sound so... Like, I'm gonna say it's pretty kind of you, yeah. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter! Ma'am? You got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. What? All right then. Now, do me a favor, my dear. And try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll... you'll... Uh, I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, alright? She nods and smiles. Leave conversation. Ma'am, if you ever get inside this house again, without my permission, I'm gonna do something that I am going to regret. And I don't like having regrets, okay? So you better stay out here and don't bother me ever again. Bye, bitch. And I'm gonna close the door. Bitch. Jesus Christ. Getting inside my house because she knows it? Excuse me? Excuse me. Eat. A plate of gross tolly made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. I don't want to eat it. Honestly, I don't want to eat it. I'm gonna tell her I ate it already. You know? Oh my god, do I need to eat it? She's gonna drug me and take me somewhere. Here, I, I ate one. I ate one. Oh, she's a witch. She, I did not like that. How did she get in? I have a gate. A closed gate. Do I not? I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go under. She went under. This is too high. This is too high. What? Heck. Heck, she had no car. Are you telling me she she walked and now she just oh my god Read note this note just says welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? I'm fucked. I'm fucked mommy mommy come pick me up reply as I unloaded the boxes into my new house I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me that combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor made me realize I was exhausted and I'm gonna go to sleep. No. I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test that comfort of my new bed. Mommy. Mommy, help me. Okay, I'm gonna lock the door. I can't. Why can't I never lock the doors? That's so dumb. And I can hear rustling in the bushes and oh my god, I thought that was her. I thought, oh my god, this is, this is like, I don't, I can't explain. This game is really well made. Okay, there's no one there. <laughs> Just making sure, you know, I'm gonna close the door and I'm gonna take this chair and put it in front. I can't, I fucking, I need to sleep. Would you actually be able to sleep after this without locking any doors, without checking the whole house?
a noise. Please. Oh my fucking god. Bro. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Probably because I was finally here. But what kind of dreams do you have about the house? No, this time I had a different dream. Oh! Oh my god, what? Look at wife. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She's clearly in a lot of pain. I find myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water just broke. Honey, are you going to be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? Ah, uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, and please remember, the highway is blocked. Now please hurry. Okay. Jesus. <gasps> oh my god, what is going on, Jessica? What? What? Wait. Or did my wife... Was my wife the person who died? God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise, I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? Not this one, right? No, the other one. Oh no, it's coming from downstairs. Fuck. The kitchen. The lady is gonna jump scare me and be like, Dear, you didn't eat all of my pastries, why? <gasps> it's open, the door is fucking open. Oh, it was definitely locked with a key. No, son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Boom. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. What is this? Inspect. Oh great, there's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get from buying an old, an old house. Oh my god, I'm... Mm, I get a weird feeling about this though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's just... It's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake this odd feeling I have when I think about it. But I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. Oh my god, I'm not ready. This this tape to the accident. I could take this to a VHS player and play it. <gasps> okay, take it. Can I? Why can I not? Hello? Grab it. I can't. Excuse me. I don't want to get jump scared. I'm I don't want to. I'm not going to question why the hell this is open and unlocked. No. It's completely natural. Everyone knows in old houses. Sometimes the doors unlock themselves. <laughs> Am I gonna have another dream? No. Oh my god, jump scare. Jump scare. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Jump scare. Okay, no jump scare. Jump scare! No. Heck. Good morning, son. Your mom told me. Your mom? Oh, this is dead. Okay. Good morning, son. Um, your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How is it going? Hey, dad. Well, you know. I know, I'm sorry. And the house, the new house. Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay, I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Uh, you're not gonna tell anyone about the lady. You're not gonna tell anyone about the lady. 
Dude. Hell. Jesus. Okay, let's go downstairs. Is it gonna be locked today? Oh no, it's still open. Heck. It seems to have gotten a bit worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. Man, this constant noise will make me go insane. Grab. I'm scared about this one. The tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement, with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can't just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed, his words measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. I heard something. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he is taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. What? He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this, and he's trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the event is as if they had already happened, but then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening, and what's the point of these tapes? <gasps> oh my god. No one? I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna go insane. Close. It's almost all done, right? Yep. There's another VHS tape. Why? Why? Oh no, this is the first one. It's not. A VHS tape labeled Tape 3, Rumble. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here yesterday. Me too, buddy. Me too. I'm gonna put away the last box. This one. Bathroom, right? Yes. Um, and then I'm gonna watch the tape. The freaking tape. Please. As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself... What I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house. Oh, I bought it. But the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Oh. Maybe it's the uh, desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was in this unfamiliar place with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the whole house fill my lungs. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. You can now open the boxes, decorate the house to your liking! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, but I'm gonna watch this first. Should I not? I'm gonna watch this. I need to. I I need to. I need. Come on. I need to. This one is gonna be terrible. As the tape starts playing, the scene before now is 
disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tapes stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover over in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above, and just as inexplicably, inexplicably disappear beneath him. Ooh. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feeling the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplainably feel the man's despair, guilt and regret, yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and I keep watching it. No, stop it, please! The camera shakes and glitches and at times seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being, as if we somehow shared consciousness. What? In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet I still feel like this was needed somehow. What? Well, I'm glad I don't have a family, and I'm not gonna kill everyone. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Open? Oh my god. Oh my god. I c Are you serious? Cushion. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a text message. It's so... Okay. Hey man. From brother-in-law. Hey man, how are you doing? Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. I'm just... Where's the other pillow? Where's the other... Ooh, books, books, books. Come in, books. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Shh. I'm doing some decoration right now. Yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. Oh my god, that's... I know. And she hated your gut. <laughs> A vase? A vase is gonna go here. What? What? Oh, it's giant. Wait a second. It's giant. Then, I'm gonna put it here. Excuse me? Outubro de... Pão quente. Why is this in Portuguese? Is the developer Brazilian? Maybe. Fuck. Okay. No one's gonna be there. No one's gonna be there. See. Si. Yes, exactly. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. <sighs> what? How? The TV turned itself on, and I can just about make out a sound over the static. Is that someone crying? Someone is inside the house. Someone is inside the house. They opened... They opened this door, right? Yep. Yep, yes they did. Baby clothes. Painting, 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 maternity photo album. Oh, hell. Who's there? Painting, sure. Okay, this box is done. There's another painting. What? Hell no. 
What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. You know what? I don't care. I'm just gonna... Why do I have two pairs of flip-flops? Why is the house making so much noise? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, I know, but seriously, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Oh. 971639. Uh, they sent me a text without anything. Who's this? Okay. Let me. Can I reply to him? No. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, let's go to the basement. Jump scare, guys. Jump scare. Boom! Boom. What the fuck is this? Oh god, what is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deter deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but... I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Call someone. Call someone. Pay them. Pay, pay someone to... Oof. God. Okay. Okay. I didn't bring this box, right? I didn't. It has baby stuff. Why would I... Like, I didn't bring the baby... Baby things with me. Because... It's to the door. The, where the fuck is the front door? Excuse me? What? What? The back door? There's no back door either. What? Huh? There's no windows. Wait a second. Oh, I thought it was weird to come here and not... Oh my god, and not have windows. Wait, there's one window here. No, actually? What the hell? Oh my god. Dude, the windows are disappearing. There's only two windows in the house. Do I just keep... Okay, I can't interact with the boxes anymore. Where is this coming from? No, not here. Where is this coming from? The basement again? There must be a reason for there to still be two windows. Oh no. <gasps> Wait, there's no... Okay, there's no windows, forget. <gasps> oh. Fuck. Fuck. Yes, there was a window. This is the only way. Fuck. I'm locked? No, I'm not. What the fuck is this? Excuse me, what? Something locked the door. What the fuck is that? What the hell is this orb? Excuse me! Hey, yo! No, don't eat me! No, can I pass through it? No, I can't. Oh my god, I'm inside it. I'm inside! Oh. 
mean, is this me? Is this me? your fault this is me lose what mom me to mom oh mom sent me it was your fault such a disappointment why are you saying this this is I'm dreaming I'm dreaming oh my god Everything is upside down. Wait. What? 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 I don't know. I'm just gonna run. Oh my god. Let's go upstairs. I can't go upstairs. Okay. alive. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> I have to keep moving. No. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my fuck. Oh my fuck. Okay. Okay. Am I supposed to go upstairs? Nope. Hello? Is this the woman? It's my wife. What? Wife! Talk. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey, did you see the latest paintings I made? It took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful, Jessica. Do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? Yes, what does God look like, huh? It's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him, and I really appreciate that, you know? Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. But I see him now, she smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? <sighs> yes, I see him too. Wonderful, isn't it? So powerful and astonishing and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I've been trying to forgive myself. I don't know if I can let you go. I've been trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. What? The baby? But... Oh my god. What? Uh. 
Look at you, honey. See? I told your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. I'm gonna say that. No, no. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. I really want to sa satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I can't. Ch I don't want to make her angry, but I don't want her to cook, to use me as food. <sighs> what do I say? What do I say? She's gonna get mad if I say this. If I say this, she's gonna kill me for sure. But if I say this, she's also gonna kill me. I can't join you. I'm sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now, then. Pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. <gasps> oh, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. You're not you're not real. This door is locked. This door is also locked. What? Join your family! Let family go. Let family go. Oh my god. What? Open. Open what? The leak seems to have stopped. Oh. That was all an hallucination, right? Yep, the windows are back. I feel like this door should remain locked. Oh. Dolphins. Oh my god, why is everything locked? Should I just keep decorating like nothing happened? This door is locked. Oh, that's good, you know. <laughs> Leave the house. And where am I going? So I answered it. Oh, I didn't I didn't do all the decorating I wanted to. But that's okay. That was a really good game. That was a really good game. I hope you enjoyed it too. The windows are gone. Achievements. You got the good ending. Secrets found. Three out of five. <gasps> Ooh. Listen, you should play this game. You should play the game. It's free. You should play the game. Okay. Bye-bye.